Now Steve Flynn is standing close by with some of the Summit County news, which I am excited to hear. So I'm coming your way, Steve. What's the word this morning in Summit County? <laughs> Thank you, Brittany, and good morning. Uh, there's a lot going on up here in the mountains. Team Summit Free Skiers competed in Aspen at the U.S. Revolutions Tour last week at Buttermilk, and that was on the course built for the X Games. In the women's free ski halfpipe, Summit's Caitlin Rytal placed fourth overall, earning 50 NORAM Cup points. In the men's halfpipe, Evan Wishmeyer also spun his way into fourth place, while Owen McKibben and Alexander Swedenborg took 12th and 14th, respectively. Congratulations, Team Summit, and keep up that great skiing into spring. On Easter Sunday, March 31st, hop over to Loveland Ski Area for a spring skiing giant Easter egg hunt. Gather at the Basin Area for the first chair at 8.30 a.m., and keep your eyes peeled for the giant Easter eggs as you ski down the slopes. Huge eggs mean huge prizes, like skis and snowboards. And there will be thousands of small eggs for the little ones to collect around the base area. Frisco also hosts its own Easter egg hunt with 5,000 eggs hidden around historic park and town hall areas at Frisco's 20th annual Easter egg hunt. The hunt begins at 12 noon when the Easter Bunny rings the schoolhouse bell. Happy Easter, everybody. Friday, April 5th is the first Friday of April, and that means the town of Silverthorne will host another celebration for Summit County. The community will say so long to winter and honor the start of spring with the town's burning snowman bonfire taking place this Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. in the Trent Park Overflow parking lot. In addition to the bonfire gathering, this family-friendly event will also feature live music and live art. With winter coming to a close, 250 inches of season-to-date snowfall and quite a few more inches in the forecast this week. Summit County snowpack is sturdy and expected to keep guests on the slopes through the heights of spring. Here are some of those closing dates for our local resorts. Keystone's final day is set for Sunday, April 7th. Copper has set its closing date as April 28th, a week later than its annual traditional closing day. And Loveland has set that day for May 12th, five days later than last season. Breckenridge does not announce closing day in advance, but the ski resort anticipates skiing at least into May. And like Breckenridge, Arapaho Basin also has a strong layer of snow and is yet to set a closing date. But as always, the ski area is planning to ski and ride as long as possible. And with these closing dates coming soon, it's time to start thinking about next year. Arapaho Basin passes for the 2024-25 season are available now. And while nothing has been decided yet, there may be changes to the Icon Pass access. Arapahoe Basin has, however, decided that they will require general parking reservations next season for the weekends and holidays. Our passes for next season are on sale. We have unrestricted pass, midweek pass, and a bunch of other options for you to find the best fit for yourself. We will have a parking reservation system in place next season from about mid-December to early May. While we're still working out those details, you should be prepared to use that system on weekends and holidays, including April 1st next season. We'll have more information online as we get the information. We're just making sure to find the best third party vendor for our operation and for our guests. That's some of the action in Summit County. Back to you in the studio, Brittany. Geez, Steve, you're telling me the Easter Bunny is giving away skis and snowboards? <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Yeah, there are big prizes over at Loveland. Uh, oh it looks like small God. ones for the kids too. Yeah, absolutely. Those are some great <laughs> prizes. I definitely will be hunting for some eggs in that case. Thank you so much, Steve, for the update. We so appreciate it.